It's only a matter of time before someone is injured or killed on this road and something's got to be done. The drivers can come up and down here 50, 60 mile an hour and yet this is a built up area. There's terrace houses on both sides of the street, you know, but they just don't obey the speed limit at all. He who lives on this street, he says traffic is making it a death trap. I want to see some sort of traffic calming measures put actually on this street because it is very dangerous. I mean, you can see yourself now with the traffic. It is a very dangerous road. It's white vans that come speeding along, it's cars, whatever. And before you know it, one of our sort of wing mirrors is taken off or one of our doors is smashed into. With all these parked cars as well that's on the left-hand side of the street, all it takes is one child just to run out of these parked cars... Car coming up, a car coming down, you've got a disaster on your hands. Most of the roads around here are 20 miles per hour, but Parsonage Street is 30, and people use it as a rat run to get through Bury Town Centre. But for people that live here, that can cause a big problem. We've got speeding motors, they don't sp- stick to the speed limits. They're using this little bit of stretch of road like a, a racing track. And on top of that as well, you've got 40 ton articulated lorries coming up that, that shouldn't be coming up. The signposts at either end. Uh, for seven and a half tonne limits and they're just ignoring it. Hugh launched a campaign to improve safety on the road and has now got a local councillor involved. One of my proposals is that we extend the 20 mile hour to include this particular street because it is very, very busy. We've got to introduce more 20 mile hour zones. I know motorists don't like it, I'm a motorist myself, but that's tough. If you can't drive responsibly, then you shouldn't be on the road. Hopefully the council's going to take notice before somebody gets idly injured or killed. So hopefully a solution can be found to make this road safer for motorists and those living along it. David Henry, Channel M News.